You ready? You ready? Let's do it. All right, so mission accomplished for Yuri Prohaska, first champion out of the Czech Republic, but this man is not resting on his laurels. Married to the game doesn't even begin to describe it. He has worked methodically on every part of his game and believes increasingly that he is becoming as dangerous on the ground as he is on the ground. Back to the feet now. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh, great work there. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, massive knee to the body. That can't feel good. He's hurting him bad, man. That right hook is nasty. All right, so we have got a full-on brawl to start this fight. Any concern that these guys might burn themselves out? Oh, they're going to exhaust themselves. So we may as well enjoy it right now, because come the third round, regardless of the weight class, they're going to look like two tired heavyweights in the middle of the octagon. Just over three minutes now to go. Oh, nice. Was that combo? He is really doing a nice job putting the shots together now. Oh, oh, gotta keep pressing here. Oh, how about a huge kick landed? Prohaska's cheek looks like it's cut here, starting to bleed a little bit now. Back to the feet. Nice punch there by Prohaska. Swelling becoming a real factor right now. Did they inject something into his face or is he just swollen from the strike? Oh, oh big left hook there. It's been a crazy fight. Hook to the head there by Pineda. He's got great kicks also. He needs to be throwing more kicks in this fight. He hasn't thrown uh, many at all. So pretty good. Oh, no. Nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut. Perhaps they're on the bridge. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Big right here. It's over. You cannot see this position. Referee will have no choice but to stop the fight. Ah. What a stop. Stop, stop, stop. All right, so that's the end of the round. Pretty significant damage done in that round. Cut on the cheek, sustained there from that strike. Now the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Better to be below the eye than above it, sure. But nonetheless, this could be a factor now moving forward. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Second round here. Well, an appreciative capacity crowd on his feet as this next round gets underway. That previous round, I mean, get the bonus checks ready. That was insane. It's done. These guys are taking a Ooh! News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Gets back to his feet. Elbow there blocked by Pro Hoska. Oh, man, that cut looks terrible. He's bleeding like crazy. I wouldn't be surprised if they stopped the fight with that cut at some point. Clipped him with the right hand there. Back to 
his feet yet again. Oh, but not a good look for the judges here. Look how wobbly he is. Oh, he's hurt bad. Tonight, both fighters invoking damage on the other one. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't. And now he's a tip to choke. Oh, that killing is tight. All right, let's get it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 45 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Alex Poetai I mean, I have run out of superlatives when it comes to describing this. Alex Pereira gets it done by knockout tonight. This dude was 3-1 and one when he made his UFC debut. It's crazy. It's so crazy to see how far he's come in such a short period of time. Now, the result isn't surprising because that's what he does. He knocks people out. But the fact that he's continued to do this as he goes up the rankings, really impressive.